In the development of a drug, speed is important, time is always very important. The traditional way is that a doctor will try out first with one drug. It will take a few months at least to wait how well that drug works. Then they'll try drug number two and it may take another few months and that is a very long process and the life expectancy of that patient is not long enough. What we really needed was from Dr. Yoon's lab where we can now do many, many experiments in a much shorter time. In my lab, we do a lot of microfluidic chip uh, developed especially for cancer drug screening. In conventional experimental setups, uh, it takes a day only do just doing 10 different conditions uh, for testing. But in our microfluidic chip, we can do an experimental with uh, a thousand different conditions in an hour. Focus. You want the drug only to kill the cancer cells, but it is going to kill a lot of other cells, which means there are going to be bad side effects. So one of the ideas is to localize or target the therapy as much as possible. The beautiful advantage of photodynamic treatment is even if your photodrug goes to the dark places, it's not going to do anything unless activated by the light. On the other hand, with uh, photodynamic treatment, you also have to make sure that the tissue has enough oxygen in addition to the drug concentration and the light concentration. And that's why you need a sophisticated instrument to be able to study simultaneously all those parameters. And that's why the special microfluidic chip of Dr. Yoon comes in very handily. Uh, using this advanced microfabrication technology, we can actually uh, stack in three layers. One layer is a cell layer, which we can introduce and inject uh, cancer cells and culture them, and injecting drugs in different uh, concentrations. And also we can put it onto the air channel uh, in which we can making a lot of different oxygen concentration differences. And also we got stacking of optical filter underneath. Stacking them all together, we can provide uh, in a thousand different conditions from the one single chip, which is around five millimeter by five millimeter in core size. And we can use a 10 chips, then maybe that's the 10,000 different conditions. This makes a huge difference how fast we can develop uh, a new drug or a new nano drug. Uh, I had a sister who died of cancer, my mother died of cancer. This is a part of the motivation to help out and do better than we were able to do. Hopefully it won't be too late for f future patients. I think you need to come up with some fresh ideas it would be really nice if you could grab those cancer cells and analyze them rather than looking at the primary tumor itself. This is a minimally invasive test.